Gun violence continues to be a major problem in this country, something we're unfortunately seemingly reminded of almost every day at this point, as we watch scenes of horrific mass shootings like the one in the grocery store in Buffalo or the elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. And our thoughts go out to all the victims and their families, but of course often thoughts aren't enough. So if you're angry, if you're upset about this, let your voice be heard. Contact your senators, protest, organize, scream out for change. If you're not sure where to start, you can text ACT to 64433. And of course, as we always do, we'll try to have links in the description of this episode for ways that you can help the victims and their families. And after a quick moment of silence, we'll get the conversation started. Hello and welcome to Lexicon Reviews, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is Maddie along with Lexi and Dylan. And of course, this is exclusively for our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the main feed of the podcast dropping every other Sunday at anchor.fm slash lexicon podcast. Uh, especially coming up is we're going to be doing Mario Wars and on the 45th anniversary of the movie that inspired the series we're reviewing now. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back every week with reviews of the episodes as they drop. And this week we are reviewing the unimaginatively named part one and part two. <laughs> like, couldn't they come up with anything else for those first two episodes? Nope. And are we confident they'll come up with anything else, else for the no, next No, for all ones? I know, the next one's going to be part three. Part four. <laughs> would you like part episode five. one and part episode six. two? Or will we get part six or will we get finale? <laughs> ah, true, true. Now, to be fair, they all have subtitles as well. We have A New Hope, <laughs> Empire Strikes Back, and in the case of most of them except for A New Hope, the movies are often known by their yeah, know. subtitle more than anything else. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, A New Hope is still just referred to as Star Wars. Yeah. Which I believe it was technically called when it first released. It was just Star Wars. And The Crawl did say Episode 4, New Hope. But I don't think they added the subtitle and the, the episode number until later on down the road. Nice yes, no. I mean, Lucas originally planned it as a, as a much longer series, potentially a, a nine-part series. And, of course, he got to six of them. And then Disney got their grubby little hands on it. And I was going to say, Disney did. took it to nine. Don't think that's Does what he had envisioned, though. The white way. But to be fair, they've done a really good job so far... Uh, with the, uh, not TV, but with the streaming series. I mean, Bad Batch, Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett have all been incredible. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm not going to say I had high hopes going in, but I was looking forward to the Obi-Wan series. Obi-Wan's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, and I was looking forward to seeing him fleshed out a little more than he already had Same. been uh, in the prequels and in the uh, animated series and whatnot. And, of course, I don't even count any of the extended universe books because those are all just legend canon now. I just want to say I have not seen Obi-Wan in any of the animated stuff. Well, he's all over the Clone Wars. Well, yeah, I know he's yeah, in it. I Just me personally, I've much. only seen the live action stuff. The Clone Wars is what, like seven seasons? Something I like have that. No idea. As I was gonna say, y'all watch one of the animated shows. He also so briefly appears in Rebels. Not we, included we, watched, Bad Batch. we watched bits of it. Ah. He kills Maul in Rebels. Good for him. For the fifth time. <laughs> Damn. But anyway, getting back to Obi Wan Kenobi proper. Yes. Uh, I'm not that impressed with the start of it, I have to admit. Really? It's decent. You I mean, like it? it's a start. It's a start, Harry. It's a start. Every time somebody says that, I think of that Gilderoy Lockhart moment. Nice. That's a, that, I mean, that, that's just kind of how mostly I felt about it. It's like, okay, cool, it's a start. We've still got four more episodes, though. I was, so. I was yeah, four more episodes, because it's another limited series, which is a, a bit disappointing. I wish they would carry these series over into multiple seasons, you know. Yeah. I, I, at least with most of the Marvel ones, we're going to get to see the, the characters and the ramifications of their actions play out in other properties. Yeah. Um, and, and, and obviously we know where Obi-Wan is going to go from here to some degree because of A New Hope, but we've got a good... I mean, even starting this 10 years after Episode 3, there's a good seven more years of stories they could play out with Obi-Wan, you know. Very much. Just, I don't think they're packing that into six episodes. No. And, and to be fair, the, these, uh, quote, limited series unquote, are really, they're more like really long movies. And, yeah. and you can tell by the pacing of them, too. We've talked about that before, especially with Falcon and Winter Soldier, how it seemed oddly paced to be a weekly series, but when you look at it as just a really long movie, the pacing made a lot more sense. So they're, so they're basically making just not many movies because they're bigger than movies, but, you know... Uh, big movies, well, at least Big movies small. cut up in bite-sized pieces, yeah. Pieces. Pretty much. So instead of getting an Obi-Wan movie, we get an Obi-Wan series, which is nice because you get to do a little more with it. But still, if it's going to be presented as a series, you know, give me a few seasons of it. Give me a chance to really get into the characters and have some fun and really flesh out your stories. But That would be nice. I guess we're not going to get that. And it, probably not. Go ahead. No, no, you can go ahead. No, you, I was just going to say, of course, we know there's a finite end to this because we know his fate come episode four. But still, like I say, we, there's plenty of time to have adventures between yeah. now and then. I feel like technically if all went well and Disney really wanted to, they could do more. 
but I, I don't know. What, what do you think, based off the first episodes, they might do more? I don't know. Yeah. Well, and I don't think they're doing more of Obi-Wan. Even if it's highly successful, I think this is intended to be just a limited series. Yeah, I think that's the intention. But, yeah, I was going to say, if it's, like, really successful... And I mean, how do you even chart how successful it is? Number of streams? I don't even know. I legitimately I mean, like, don't you know. You know, on TV, you'd get ratings, and, and that would bring in advertising dollars. And then, you know, the theater, you'll get box office. But, I mean, I, streaming, I it, it, it's tough to say. Know. And what does it even matter? I mean, maybe if it if it's subscriptions to your channel vastly increased during the I life guess. of the series. I, I don't even know what... Even if it is, quote, successful, unquote, like, what's, what's going to urge them to, oh, we got to do more of that, you know? Yeah. I mean, especially considering I'm sure these series are not cheap. Probably not. You look at the views, then you hop on Reddit to see the views. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably where most of it comes in. It's like, did we get more subscriptions? Did it have positive reactions online? Could Didn't that possibly push people to do more subscriptions? Or streams or whatever. Yeah. I was kind of looking forward to the series, though, because I thought Obi-Wan was a bit in need of some redemption. He's a very cool character, but obviously he doesn't play a major part in the original trilogy because he passes away at the end of the first movie, not yes. in the end, so during the first climax of the movie. Old Ben. And we see him as a Force ghost, but he doesn't have a lot to do. And we got to see more of him in the prequels, but I didn't. He's a, he's a cool character, and of course, between. um. Alec Guinness and uh, Owen McGregor playing him, you really get into him because the actors are great and he's a cool character. But I, I thought he was a little sus. Not 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 like I didn't trust him, but the character wasn't didn't quite live up to all the hype when we got to see him in the prequels. Yeah, as this great Jedi Knight. I mean, he, he barely beats Maul. He barely beats Grievous. He gets captured on Geonosis. He gets his ass kicked by Dooku twice. They talk about how Anakin has to save him like ten times. I know he gets a little bit of redemption when he beats Anakin, but other than that moment. He doesn't get a lot of really cool stuff to do, so I thought this was going to be a little bit of a redemption for Obi-Wan and really getting to flesh out the character. Sort of, sort of like they did with Darth Vader in Rogue One. I mean, Darth Vader's a very cool villain, and he's intimidating and, he, and, he's, and he's cool, but I mean, you don't get to see a lot of the really badass Darth Vader in the original trilogy. You know, he's yeah. more the, the quiet menace in the background, and you see him, you know, choking Mahdi on the Death Star, and or Taggy, whichever one it is, and you see a little bit of that, and you see him snatch the gun from Han on Cloud City... He's menacing and he's a presence, but you never really got to see him be that badass until that awesome scene in Rogue One. So I thought we were going to get a little bit of that with Obi-Wan. It does look like it's going to be an Obi-Wan redemption arc, but from a completely different point of view, because they had to establish how he'd completely fallen off after the Anakin debacle. Yeah, so To be fair, he might have more cool moments than the Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe. I, I feel like as far as But I feel like the Clone Wars goes. also focus on a lot of different characters. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure how Anakin much Obi Wan Did you have a figure on. of Clone Wars Obi Wan or something? Maybe. I feel like you did. It's also the only thing where the Jedi actually have, like, armor. I feel like I feel like we did have. I feel like we Probably had. Clone, I feel much, like we had, we had Obi Wan in the yeah. Clone Trooper armor. <clears throat> but, um. I was gonna say, as far as the show, I feel like he's gonna get some cool moments later in the show. But I, I went in expecting really cool badass Obi Wan. And I didn't expect to get punk ass bitch Obi Wan, <laughs> and that's what I feel like. Or, or, or minimum wage slave Obi Wan. <laughs> so we're introduced to him. I actually know technically we're introduced to everybody with this really long recap sequence. Yeah. Which is fine, but then at the beginning of the series, Obi Wan's dreaming, and you get to see all that over again in his dream. It's like, did you need both of those really? <laughs> The recap yes. was fine. The dream recap was fine. Both of them was redundant. Yeah, no. And to be fair, I think most people checking this out know the backstory. I don't think it was well, really that necessary. If you want to throw it in there for new fans, fine. But give us one or the other. We don't need both. We got like, both because that's that's how Obi Wan has to live his life. Huh, right there's now. all these Star Wars things on Disney Plus. I'm gonna start with Obi Wan Kenobi. Speaking of what Alex just said, we also got to see Obi Wan take the meat home and ride the transport three different times. Yeah. yeah. This series loves redundancy apparently, and I get they're trying to show this is just his routine and this is his new normal and. <laughs> you know, the the drudgery of life that he lives now compared to the glory days of being a Jedi Knight. But even that, I don't buy. Like, I understand he needs to stay hidden to a degree. Mm-hmm. But if you look at his appearance in A New Hope, Luke knew his last name. And I don't think Kenobi's that common a name. I don't think he was trying yeah. that hard. I mean, he was certainly, long legs he was certainly hiding, but I don't think he had to go to the extremes that he did in this. You haven't seen Kenobi's family tree? It's yeah, huge. Okay, but still, they'd all connect back to Obi-Wan at some point. It's not. It's not like... Every Tom, Dick, and Harry, oh, my barber's last name is Kenobi. The, the guy who works, who mops up the jizz of the porn booth, his name's Kenobi. It can't be Obi-Wan. So, I mean, geez. 
And, and look, I, I don't mind the idea of a, of a layered character. I don't mind the idea of a tortured character. I don't need somebody who's just one-dimensional. He doesn't have to be just this badass, amazing superhero with no flaws and he's completely infallible. But this Obi-Wan they gave us doesn't work for me. And it doesn't even seem to jive with the Obi-Wan we get in A New Hope when we're first introduced to him. I mean, yeah. he's an old man. He's been living the life of a desert hermit and sort of staying out of the fray. But he doesn't seem like somebody who's completely shirked his life as a Jedi. And yeah, I mean, what is with Disney on this kick of, oh, I did something wrong. Better turn my back on the Force and go live the life of a hermit. I mean, he's not even really a hermit in this because he's, he's there working at the meat farm. Yeah. But, I mean, it's the same thing they did with Luke in the sequel trilogy. It's like, oh, had a mistake. Better turn my back on all the Jedi ways. I, and I feel like he's better than Luke in the sequel trilogy. I was going to say, Disney's just sitting like these no, good he buried his lightsaber. They There's another Jedi who saw him out. He's like, better just go they bury that and go hide. They themselves. Well, so then they hide. get, like, freaked out. And, like, just I understand him. Right. I understand he needs to hide. And, and I get they're trying to build up the Inquisitors to this real malevolent force, but... It just doesn't jive with the Obi-Wan that I know from A New Hope. And I guess the point is this is going to get him to where he was after the fight with Anakin to where he is by the time we meet yeah. him in A New Hope. But Probably. I just, you know, I didn't think Obi-Wan ever went to that part. And like I say, I, I'm fine with the idea of him being messed up after Anakin's betrayal and him having to defeat him and whatnot. I get that, and I don't mind them putting that into it, but this sort of shrunken little man that Obi-Wan's become, it just doesn't work for me, man. And, it, and again, it... it you can tell that story, and it, and it can work. It just doesn't fit the characters as I've seen them. How many years is it between Us and A New groove. Hope? Seven, because Luke's 17 in A New Hope. I bet by episode ages, five or six, he's going to get back in the groove. Maybe he's 19. Let me double check that, but go. What were you saying, Dylan? I bet by episode five or six, he's going to get back in the groove. <laughs> Finally at the come finale. At come at me. He's like, come I'll at take me, you bro. Down. Episode six of Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan's new groove. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, third sister, yeah, I'll kick your ass. Yeah, definitely. Man, what do you guys think about third sister? I don't know. I like the idea of the character, and I think there's some cool stuff they can do with her, but I also don't like the idea of being given this character and we're expected to take them serious as you know, as a threat to Obi-Wan or somebody on his level or maybe even higher without seeing who they are at all. I yeah. mean, just seeing her harassing some local yokels who aren't even, yeah, you know, schooled in ways of the force or able to touch the yeah. force like, that's not going to make her a badass exactly and she just seems like a sort of like a petulant child okay so she stabbed the high inquisitor or whatever like I mean uh, she's just it's being like, a okay, jerk okay another that doesn't day make, in Star Wars that doesn't make her a badass yeah so maybe I think if we saw her fight with the other Jedi guy that we I saw saying, I, feel, oh, yeah. I feel like she's another character that we're going to see like, like give us just a little bit of her days. not don't throw her right into this mission give us a little bit of her backstory yeah. you know show, establish them a little bit more and I know they only have six episodes to work with but you could have cut some of the filler from this episode mm-hmm. you could have done something I. it's sort of like in wrestling when a, a performer is just sort of pushed down the throats of the fans and pushing in the main events before they're ready and the fans turn on them and I know this character isn't necessarily supposed to be a good guy, so I'm not saying people should be rooting for her, but I'm just saying that if somebody being pushed when they're not ready to be pushed, and you know, then there's going to be a rejection of, like, uh, we're not ready for them, don't push them down our throats. And I feel that's kind of what they're doing with her. Mm-hmm. I feel like they could have established her just a little, just, just give me a little more of her, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't... I, I know Vader, we didn't get to see that badass Vader ahead of time, but the way he makes that first entrance onto the Tantus Four, and, you know, there's just that are of malevolence about him and you know he's somebody to be reckoned with yeah and I just don't feel it here I just don't think they did a good job establishing the character and they have time to do it throughout the series but they're expecting us to take her that seriously right away I think they're just dropping the ball on her I mean she may appear could be a really cool character she may appear in some of the other content but it's kind of like oh to see her be a badass you gotta watch this then you'll understand that she's a badass yeah, I don't even know if she... Especially with the B-caps they gave. I feel like they sh- they could have built her up a bit more for people who hadn't seen other content. I'm not sure if she does. I don't even know if she appears. I know the uh, I Inquisitors know do in general, yeah. but... She kind of reminded me of a character from Loki. Which I one? I don't know. The, she uh, just gave me the vibes the of some cop, of... Like, yeah. yeah, the time Whose cop. name I can't remember because we haven't watched it in a year. Yeah, she just, she just gave me some of those vibes. Yeah, she seems to be from this series... Okay, nice. I'm sorry. According to the official script from the original Star Wars, Luke is 18. Still, that's... For about eight years. Eight years? <clears throat> Obi-Wan ages a lot in eight years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Obi-Wan ages a lot in the 20 years between Episode 3 and, and A New Hope. That's always been a point of contention. Which, if you check out YouTube.com slash VCTV, you can see our theory on how that's going to happen and how it might happen in this series. Cheap mm-hmm. plug there, but I digress. 
But hey, speaking of third sister, here's something I didn't expect to get in Obi Wan. Is that vague racism from the other Inquisitor? Yeah. I mean, they took like let's take some people and let's not not just white humans, but let's make them as white as can be and have them running down the black person in their unit. Like, don't forget you're from the gutter. You're beneath this. Is like, damn. Yeah. I mean, maybe they are trying to make her the sympathetic character before the end of this. Because look at the way she's being treated by them. I mean, I'm sorry, I did not have uh, even not so subtle racism on my bingo card for Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. I don't like how the Grand Inquisitor just got stabbed in the second episode. Yeah, but so, I, don't, I don't know that he died from it. Yeah, I know. We don't. We don't I, know. We don't know if he's bad enough to survive that or not. But I don't know. I didn't yeah. like him all that much. I did not like. It was almost like a Saturday Night Live caricature. We are here to hunt the Jedi. They will reveal themselves. I just, I don't know, man. I wasn't feeling that performance. I mean, I'm fine with him going down if it means third sister can take over and we can get more of her because she's, she's uh, way more engaging and entertaining than he was at this point. He just feels like a caricature. I think he's still alive because doesn't he have Pan Bubble, Bubbles? I don't know. I know that there is an Inquisitor this. in that, but I don't know which one it is necessarily because I didn't, I didn't watch enough of Rebels. I remember the art where... Darth Maul came back and we got to see Ashoka fight with Anakin and that was badass yeah. but I didn't really watch Rebels is what most Inquisitors the series appear. as a whole that and Jedi Fallen Order speaking of caricatures and stereotypes I was not there for precocious little Rebel Leia <sighs> I mean I'm, I'm all fine it's kind of I'm, fun I'm, seeing I'm all though. fine seeing young Leia something I didn't expect I thought we might see a little bit of young Luke but I didn't even expect to see that much of him because I figured Obi-Wan would be watching him from afar um, and so it's, who it, would see more Leia than Luke in this series? Well, we don't know that yet. We've seen two episodes. <laughs> I uh, So I don't mind her being there, but it just seems so... Oh, she's the leader of the rebellion later, so let's make her rebellious. I mean, it's wow. kind of cute. I guess. And is it really outside of Leia's character I, to have I, been a I, rebellious Hey, I'm not saying it is, but there's also the fact that, look... Me at 10 versus me at 18, I was very different. So oh, she yeah. could be very different between those she two. Could be. And also, it just feels cliche. It's like, what can we do with her? Oh, let's make her rebellious. You could have just done so many other things with the character. And it still could have felt like Leia, or a young version of Leia, or even a brand new version of Leia, because we never saw Leia at that age. Yeah. It just felt so stereotypical. And the, the actress is fine, and the performance is fine. It's just like, that's the best y'all could come up. It's like the titles of the episode. It's like, they're not trying <laughs> that hard. It's like, let's fuck up Obi-Wan as much as we can, and everything else, and nah, we just don't even bother. And they gave her a little ladybug droid for some reason. But I mean, at least Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers was in it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> that ladybug boy is never see seen him. again. It's dead. You know you can repair a droid, right? Yeah, but like... Well, why are you assuming it's never seen again? Well, it might be seen in this series. But yeah. uh, again. Yeah. He's saying between this series and a new home. I guess he's a trash as in it, yes. It's like, no, this is my best friend. As she grows ass. up, because that, you know, maybe she, you know, it's broken, doesn't want to repair, or just outdated. So, yeah, she doesn't have it as she grows Boy, up. Do you know how long R2-D2 has been going? Well, look, R2-D2 never goes out of date. <laughs> R2-D2 has been mauling for, like, has been going just about 20 as long as R2. Yeah. <laughs> Turning that style of joy seems to have been going longer. Yeah. But, again, those never go out of date. <clears throat> Those are those are like your no no those are like your classic always around droids. Her little ladybug droid or whatever it was. That's just like one of the trendy ones the kids have. R two D two has and has memory wipe. No, she's a kid, so she's got that little playful droid that's gonna be trash in a couple years. (laughs) That also comes with a saw. Yes. You know, for cutting your. I I mean, it is a Star Wars droid. Kids need those. Of course they do. It's probably in the Star Wars universe. (laughs) But overall, my main impression of the series so far is I just don't like what they've done to Obi Wan. Like I said, I get maybe he's he's messed up from what went on with Anakin, but I just don't see him completely turning his back on the Force like this and just I'm not the man I was. I'm just some little meat packing wage slave, you know. I don't like how weak he seems at some point. Yeah, and it, remember at the end of uh, uh, Revenge of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, when it seemed like uh, Yoda was like, "You can start. Mm-hmm. Someone is learning the ways of speaking through the Force." Your old master, Qui Gon. So I figured mm-hmm. he'd be talking. So ten years later, and he's not talking to Qui Gon yet. I figured he would yeah. be because they showed that in the show. I figure he will at some yeah. point. But it, it seems like again, but it's, then like, it's like, like he like tried he's, and he failed. He, he's cut himself off, and he's not a jet. He just does doesn't want it or doesn't do it or feels like he can't do it or whatever anymore. And I get oh His you know Bail Organa coming back and asking him to save Leia. This is the kick in the ass he needs to to perk himself back up and get his groove back. But I just. I don't, you know, it's sort of it's like it's sort of like it's sort of like the, the problem with the 
the Disney trilogy too. It's like, oh, let's make everybody in a bad way again. Instead of finding a, a new issue for them to overcome, let's just reset everything. It's like, we gotta put everybody back and knock them back down so we can build them back up. Why can't we just do something new with them? We know he's gonna be in a tough way. We know he's gonna be messed up over losing Anakin and Anakin's betrayal and the destruction of the Jedi Order. And we know he's gonna have to hide out, but I'm, the way they're doing it, not only is it cliched and just lazy writing, it's just not interesting and disrespectful to the character. But since when does Disney give a fuck about that? <laughs> but then again, they've done the TV show so well until now. Yeah. The streaming shows. I apologize. Look, I'm I'm 43 years old, you know. <laughs> I'm from the TV generation. And also, Technically, Obi-Wan Kenobi is called, you're right. is called a television series. So, And to be fair, we stream on our TVs now. I mean, you can also all turn your... Like any device. Well, yeah, but yeah. can we just can we just acknowledge when like Netflix and Hulu, not when they first came out and got popular, but when I first started using them, I was watching them on a two DS. <laughs> Hell, Netflix used to mail you DVDs. In the yeah, day. yeah, I actually went to the One Direction DVD. Netflix is also Netflix. on the Wii U. It's not on the Switch though. Interesting. I don't think so. there might be a Netflix app on the Switch. Interesting. All right, so what are the notes from the first two episodes of Obi Wan? Oh. Um, that one moment when he got super out of breath from using the force for like two yes, seconds. Yes, you've said that like three times at least now. On the podcast though? Yes. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said it at least one other time. Say it on the podcast. Pretty sure he said it. I mean again it's like, oh he's coming back, he's coming back to him, but he should he should have been strong in the force this whole time. He should have been committed to it and been that Jedi, even if he had to keep someone in the shadows. <laughs> the idea that he just totally turned into somebody else and now we're gonna get like I didn't need that. I wanted some badass Obi-Wan, and I wanted to see what he went through in these years between the, the movies, but I didn't need to see him For turn into this. the first half of the to, show, to, to he went back. through some traumatic, yeah. shutting himself but, off. But, I'm like, but, but who needed that? Did you really want to see that? Obi-Wan Anybody needed it to heal. To he needed it there, for his healing. I get that, but there are other ways to go about that. He could still have that trauma and still be the person he was to He agree. will be the person and, he and was. And I mean, he's I get, again, obviously, obviously he's going again. to be different having gone through that. I get that. But... He's still who he is, and he still maintains something of what he was, even if yes. he, even if he, you know, he just shot it out. So he's got to find it again. Even if he transitions from one version of himself to another, there's still part of you that's there, and the idea that oh, just nothing I was mad as anymore. I'm just moving on. I'm just gonna eat some meat with my. I don't even know what that animal is. <laughs> it's like some almond camel. camel. With, with 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 my weird Ant space camel. camel. And even, like, he's with the jaw one. He's all like, if you're going to steal my parts, at least clean it. So there's still some vestige of Obi-Wan there, so why can't he just be that badass who has to stay in the shadows a little bit? Again, in A New Hope, he wasn't hiding that hard. Luke knew his name. This is Obi-Wan's battle with himself. I like how he speaks Jawa. Okay, but again, there's Wait, other... Wait, can we acknowledge there's, also, like, there's other, it? But No, let me go back. There's other ways to show that. You don't have to just become a shell of your former self <laughs> to fight with your demons. You can still maintain some vestige of who you are, and you can still be you... And I'm, I get everybody's journey is different and people deal with things, and that's fine. But this is a fictional streaming series. It doesn't really relate to real life that much anyway, despite whatever warnings they feel the need to put on the beginning of it. This is not the Obi-Wan anybody wanted to see, I doubt. I certainly didn't want to. Can you also acknowledge that you keep pointing out how, you know, Luke knew his name and all that? Isn't in one of these episodes Uncle Owen or whatever his name telling Obi-Wan to stay away and all that? Like he wants nothing to do with him? That's what I'm saying. So there's some reputation of the old hermit Ben Kenobi out there. So clearly his name's getting spread around. And I get by the time of New Hope, I guess the Inquisitors are gone by then. I don't really know where they fit into the timeline. They certainly don't show up in the original trilogy. But I don't think he had to go to these lengths. And, and to see cowardly Obi-Wan is just Maybe not what anybody wanted Maybe there's something else that happened between I guess he's a that episode and this series. That explains it. I, I guess he does a lot of training between now and A New Hope. Yes, yes, yes back that's, pro- that's probably why he aged so much, is the amount of training I and whatnot he had to do. I don't think he's ignite his lightsaber once, have we? Not sure. Yeah, not yet. I guess he has to eventually. For oh. the big time, where he's like, I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I am a Super Saiyan. And I am about to wipe all y'all out. <laughs> um, also, when they went to outer space Tokyo, and, and I will say we got to see... um. Third sister do some really nifty force parkour. Yeah, I yeah. guess that was supposed to establish her as a real badass. It's like <laughs> I can something fall. anybody who goes down to their local par- parkour gym can learn to do. But uh, she's badass. I mean, don't I can't do it, but I mean I could. You could <laughs> if you do. wanted. Uh, other, other than when she reached out and and, and you know made a, a piece of the building fall over with the force and then uses the bridge, which again is pretty standard Jedi. Yeah. Um, 
I didn't buy into the idea that Obi-Wan didn't know that Anakin was still alive. I'm sure in ten years he since figured Vengeance it out. Sith... So, well, I'm, the Empire was building up bigger and bigger. I'm sure the name Darth Vader has been spread throughout the galaxy, and I'm pretty sure he knew he was going by the name Darth Vader by the time they had their duel. Yeah. So the idea that he doesn't know that that's Anakin, I don't buy that at all. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, didn't so like, everyone know who Darth Vader was by that point? I, I would certainly think so. And again, people who knew Darth Vader as just this, this mystical black knight lording over them might not have known his origin as Anakin Skywalker, but I'm pretty sure Obi-Wan did. And yeah. even when Third Sister's telling him about it, she says, you know, she mentions Darth Vader, and that's when he's like, <gasps> and he's like, oh, that's right, Anakin's still alive. So I'm pretty sure he knew Anakin was Darth Vader at that point, because Anakin started going by the name Darth Vader, you know, yeah. prior to Order 66. Maybe information that does not spread to the Outer out Rim very fast. I mean... Okay, but still, ten years later, and he's in, he's in touch with Bail Organa, obviously. Yeah. I'm sure Bail Organa knows who Darth Vader is at this point. Again, he might not realize that it's Anakin, but... Yeah. And at the same time, maybe he does. Oh, yeah, oh, well, I forgot to mention, yeah, that this guy, Darth Vader, kind of a jerk. <laughs> Speaking of, in A New Hope, when uh, Leia reaches out to Obi-Wan, she's all like, you know... She doesn't say, you don't know who I am, but she as good as does, because she's like, Obi-Wan, you served with my father during the Clone Wars. Like, she has to let him know who she is. They just showed a meeting and having an adventure in outer space Tokyo. <laughs> did, did you forget all that? Yes. And again, look, I understand this is being written after the original movie. They wouldn't have put in the original movie because this story wasn't created. But when you're making this story, knowing what happened in the other movie, you should take that into account. Maybe, maybe, maybe he goes on and does a lot of stuff and she's like, I don't know if he remembers that one time when I was 10. I hardly remember that one time when Obi-Wan I was 10. Kenobi, other than the fact that I'm you rescued me it. from Space Tokyo? I think that's something you would remember. Remember Flea from the Red Hat Chili <laughs> Peppers there? Degree. But like Obi-Wan with all his adventures, some of them have to blur together. I mean, he didn't have many adventures between episode 3 and episode 4. That we know of so far. Well, maybe he did. I thought that's what we were going to get to see. You know? Something's got to age him. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's... I've been hit by first age. <laughs> it's just Leia and all her rebellious things. That what, that's what ages Obi-Wan. Leia's he just gets out stressed so much. out. <laughs> and then it's completely confusing as to Dude, why she was aging. Things. Jimmy Smith looked old in this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know it's been, what, 20 years since episode three. I mean, he aged. We all age. I get that. But, you know, usually they de-age people for stuff when they're playing a younger version of themselves. They didn't seem like they wanted to bother with him. It's just like, <laughs> damn. Who... Bail Organa. Ah. That's who I guessed, but I wasn't sure, honestly. Yeah, I, I assumed, but I wasn't sure. You know, speaking of uh, disappointing instances in this series, too, I thought when they went to Space Tokyo and the kid was like, hey, I know a Jedi. You want me to take you to him? At first I thought, oh, Mace Windu. <laughs> nah, sad. No, but, instead but of getting like to the guy. He just stepped on my joke. Uh, I'm sorry. I saw him be like, but when I saw him pull off his hood, I'm like, that's not a Jedi. That's an Eternal. Facts. <laughs> And he's just doing yeah. what he does. Kamal, I mean, he, I like the character, and he did some, and he did help Obi Wan off. But but then his idea of I'm gonna buy you some time was just to confront the Inquisitor right up. Like, it's me, you got me. What do you like? Like, you really think you're gonna get past her? He's you're not, not gonna make things. More. I just want to say uh, it fits into his Marvel story, though. Like the character of Mo- in Marvel, it's like that could totally just be the Eternal character. And also, speaking of, uh, he, he sends him, Leia and Obi-Wan, to the unmanned freighter for them to take off in, and the uh, the Inquisitor third sister, she chases them right up to it. And I thought the whole idea of them taking off in the freighter was that they nobody would be looking for them in it. Yeah. So they could get away, you know, unscathed. She knows they're in the freighter. Is it really that hard to stop a little unmanned space freighter? I'm sure they have a presence up she in the skies. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's a Star Destroyer or some TIE Fighter. So stop all the freighters leaving. I'm sure they can get by with that. They shut down the whole port system in the city or the planet or whatever, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you would expect. I don't know. H- highly disappointed in the first two episodes so far. I, I should have known better when I saw the names. Part one and part two. Wow, they're really going all out on this. But Sorry. I mean, of course, I'm along for the ride. I'm, I'm going to see where it goes. I mean... Hopefully it gets better. Yeah. So far, the, their track record for the, the uh, streaming shows have been really good. Um, 
if you extend it to the Marvel Universe, too, they've all been really good. I mean, a little uneven here or there, and I, I wasn't that impressed with Moon Knight, but it wasn't terrible, either. I really enjoyed So, but you don't know series. part three, but Obi-Wan and Mace Windu team up with Qui-Gon's Ghost to take out every single Inquisitor. Then no idea what happened, part four, five, and six. <laughs> Alright, well, obviously, we'll, we'll, uh, refrain from giving any kind of ratings or anything because we've only seen the first two episodes. I mean, I would definitely give them a, a, a slight thumbs down. Yeah. Just based on those two episodes. I'd, we'll, I'd we'll give like a mid. Goes. We'll see where it goes from here. It's kind of a wait and see, which I hate being in that position, but it is what it is, you know? Yep. Another month of episodes. All right, well, thanks for checking us out here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe here and also check out the main feed of the podcast at anchor.fm slash lexiconpodcast when new episodes drop every other Sunday. We've got a very special episode for any Star Wars fans. Well, I say that. Maybe you're not going to like it if you're a Star Wars fan, <laughs> but we're going to try to make it fun. We're going to be doing uh, A New Hope as characters from the Marioverse. Yes. And we'll be back here on YouTube next week with another review of, uh, I guess, part three. Yeah. Of Obi Wan Kenobi. So until then, when the conversation continues, I am will continue to be Maddie, Lexi, Dylan, and this is Lexi concluded. Bye. It's lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs>